Welcome back to the Deep Digger Sports Pod. I'm your host, Drew. My other host right over there. What's up? It's D. Good to see you again. Go ahead and hit that uh, like button. Go ahead and subscribe to the pod. We have a bunch of stuff coming up and you're not going to want to miss it. Yeah, I th- we're not going to say anything yet, but we have some upcoming guests this next month. So it's going to be a fun show for the next month. You guys are wa- going to want to see that stuff. We're talking live golf, PGA merger, uh whole mess going on right now in in the golf world Uh, yes give us a little update on what's going on yeah so a bunch of docs uh actually just got leaked (laughs) like Uh, how we both pull out our notes like dude it's it's a lot to take in there is a lot going on with these uh so two weeks ago they released um uh one set of documents now they released another set of documents um this is called the best of both worlds presentation. Uh, I'm looking at a tweet from Sean Zach. Shout out Sean Zach for this. Uh, but basically, it gives a proposal for um, what the live PGA Tour merger should look like. I believe this is coming from the PIF side of things. So Saudi Arabia. So it's saying Liv is proposing that Rory McIlroy and Tiger Woods each own a team of Liv and play in 10 Liv events. Uh, This will initiate a large scale superstar Liv style team event that includes Liv and PGA players and LPGA players. So... 16 team captains, 16 teams, all playing in 10 events. Um, With that, they want it to do at least two PGA elevated events that will be branded with a Ramco uh, and or PIF flags. And one of them has to be in Saudi Arabia. Uh, So that's a lot there. I think we will just cut it. I digest that. And when this mer- merger was uh, first proposed, everyone was saying that, oh, well, the PGA Tour is just going to absorb Liv. The Liv is going to be no longer. Um, you might see you know, a smaller circuit of Liv or something like that. But realistically, what they're doing is they're sucking in all of the star uh, – Pause. <laughs> 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 they're absorbing they're absorbing all of the uh, star golfers that you want to see play on a weekly basis and that's what it's going to be they're going to make more money playing on the pga tour and that's what it is and now it's really looking like Liv is the one calling the shots and piff is saying like hey well we don't want Liv to go anywhere and they've actually had meetings with their players saying we're gearing up for next year. There is going to be a live tour. So get ready. And these live guys are actually pretty pumped about it because they're playing less. They're making more money and they're actually getting a little bit more exposure and they're having um, a lot of enjoyment with the uh, the team events. Uh, I know last week, I believe uh, it was Cam Smith who was playing for the first in the tournament, but he was also playing for uh, his team to win the event. And he was actually disappointed because he bogeyed on the last hole. It, he still won, but his team lost. And he was like, damn, it, it's kind of bittersweet. I I'm, I love the win, but I really wanted to see my guys get a, get a dub here. It just brings like a new element to golf that's like pretty interesting. Yeah. Where I see this being a pitfall is the PGA Tour players play so much throughout the season. How are they going to be able to do another 10 events on the Live Tour? Yeah. I think that's just unrealistic. It's so, not going to happen. I'm just saying, like, what you're saying here is, like, PGA is posturing, like, oh, yeah, you guys are done. Like, you guys are coming back to us, like, as if they won. Mm-hmm. And the live guys are saying, no, 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 no. We won. We won, and we'll do your little events, but, like, we're going to do whatever we want to do also. And, like, if you guys can join, then cool. Yeah. Is that kind of where we're at? That's what it seems. It seems like both sides are saying that they won this merger. But I think Liv is winning. I mean, when you're the one with the money and you're, you know, sponsoring everything, I think that kind of goes to show you have the power. Whoever holds the wallet holds the power. So, Mm -hmm. I mean, Piff is the one who's going to be really forking out these events. And we've seen that the PGA Tour already said, like, we couldn't really what were we doing we were asking our sponsors to sponsor at least double throw out like 
three times the money that they were for the same amount of viewership, we just couldn't do it anymore. Mm -hmm. So we know that Piff was doing it. They didn't give a fuck about profit. They and, just wanted to be in the And sport. I'll say this, like, live, we have proof of concept. Like, it's not like now it's new. It's like, oh, well, we'll go do our league. It's like, we just saw what happened. The live guys came in fresher. Yeah. They came in ready to compete and they played well. Yes. And it's like, how many more, say this doesn't go through, how many more years can PGA compete like just on an athletic level like can they keep winning against these guys who are just coming to the events way more prepared than the other guys yeah and that's the thing like brooks kepka kind of showed you live is kind of a cheat code like he kind of played lackluster up until the major events and once the majors hit he was ready to go on each of those and so he kind of showed you like and it was a guy, anyways, when he played on the PGA Tour, he was like, I, this is fucking boring. Like, I just want to play majors. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And so, like, I think there are rumors that before this merger, John Rahm was actually going to make the, his way over mm -hmm. there. After, you know. That was kind of a breaky point. Yeah. After having a historic start of the PGA Tour, we've seen him kind of slow down. He got sick. Uh, it's really taken a toll on his body. And so. It does make sense that he was like, hey, you know, I'll take a bag over here. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, it's pretty interesting. It'll be interesting to see how it shapes out because I think really what everyone's waiting on is the litigation uh, coming through. They have to meet with Congress. I think it's an anti-compete or anti-monopoly uh, hearing. And I think once it goes through, that's when we'll start to see, like, plans actually solidify. Right now, yeah. everything's kind of up in the air. Because why does it feel – it feels like Liv and PJ have, like, not talked about this. And, like, a merger was announced and they were like, well, what do we do now? Like, how do we merge? <laughs> now what? Yeah. I think it was kind of rushed and put together just because they had their own ongoing lawsuits with each other. And a lot of things were going to come to light that they didn't really want. And it was better for both of them to be like, hey, instead we're just going to link up. But no one really put together – what that was actually going to look like and now we're seeing now it. we're seeing it like these two opposing uh point of views where the pga was like we're going to run things if you're going to come back to us live players that have, you know left the pga tour we're going to find you and live tour guys are like what the fuck they're like, like you guys are coming to us yeah and so, so it's pretty it's pretty crazy i'm actually really interested to see how everything starts to shape out and we'll keep everyone updated on that as it keeps coming forward. Uh, and did you see the guy, the the live guy, said that in his in the the description of all the events and everything, he put that he would get an uh, invite to Augusta. <laughs> oh my the, god! The club. Yeah. He would be invited to join the club. Yeah. <laughs> and they're like, you had to, she had to shoot you a shot. <laughs> you have to, man. <laughs> uh, anything else uh, today for golf or? Um one thing I want to shout out is Ricky Fowler. Ricky Fowler looked awesome at the uh, Rocket Mortgage Mortgage uh, tournament that happened not this past week, but the week before. Uh, he won it. Awesome to see him win. Um, he's actually been playing amazing this season. I think he really has a, a good chance of being on the Ryder Cup team this year. Um, so I just want to shout out Ricky Fowler on that. It's good to see golf is better with Ricky Fowler. Nice. And I will say, go and watch Wimbledon, uh, Wimbledon tennis uh, quarterfinal match tomorrow morning. Uh, I, I'm going to be checking it out. Maybe I'll talk about it next week. But, yeah, that's all we got today. All right. Make Thanks sure you listening. hit that like button. Subscribe. We really appreciate it. See you guys. Later.